Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel Peterisms where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I've grown to the person that I am today. And I brought out with me the Melody Baby books to uh, read a few meditations in here today. So let's get started, shall we? Um, I'm like, I've been up since 7.30 this morning and I honestly, I filmed a the longest vlog I've ever filmed today. And I was like, after that, I was like, I'm not gonna film any more videos today. But then I just started filming one after another and after another, Alex is inside, he's watching Friends and eating some chicken before he goes and does his stuff tonight. He's got some plans for tonight. And I'm like, when he leaves, I am gonna take a nap. I'm gonna order some food. I'm gonna watch some shows tonight. It's like crazy. I mean, it's like after four and I've been like going all day long. So let's read some of these Melody Baby meditations, shall we? Okay. Let's see what the language of letting... I haven't read from these in a couple days. So let's see what the language of letting go is first. November 11th. Da, 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 da. Discipline. November 11th. Children need discipline to feel secure. So do adults. Discipline means understanding there are logical consequences to our behavior. Discipline means taking responsibility for our behavior and the consequences. Discipline means learning to wait for what we want. Discipline means willing to work for and toward what we want. Discipline means learning and practicing new behaviors. Discipline means being where we need to be when we need to be there despite our feelings. Discipline is the day-to-day -day performing of tasks, whether these be recovery behaviors or washing of dishes. Discipline involves trusting that our goals will be reached through... Or, discipline involves trusting that our goals will be reached, though we cannot see them. Discipline can be grueling. We may feel afraid, confused, and certain. Later, we will see the purpose. But this clarity of sight usually does not come during the time of discipline. We may not even believe we're moving forward, but we are. The task at hand during times of discipline is simple. Listen, trust, and obey. Higher power, help me learn to surrender to discipline. Help me be grateful that you care enough about me to allow these times of discipline and learning in my life. Help me know that as a result of discipline and learning, something important will have been worked out in me. Um, an interesting meditation. I don't really know what to think about it. I was like, as I was reading it, I was thinking like, what, what discipline do I have in my life? You know, there, there are things that I do in my life. I mean, it talked about accountability and responsibility and stuff like that and consequences. And, but it also talked about like washing the dishes and stuff. You know, I think about the things that I have set up in my day that I do every single day. You know, I get up and uh, brush my teeth and wash my face and then I take Boo Radley out and I get him some treats and then I you know get a glass of water or a cup of coffee and then I sit out here and I read my meditations and I do my prayers and I do my um, gratitude list and things like that and I would consider that discipline and then I ask myself after I've kind of sat with the universe for a few moments whenever I say that I always just like pause so you can it's like it's so nice just to kind of sit with the universe <laughs> Although I said this morning in my vlog, because I was sitting out here so early, you know, I was like, there were so many people that were mowing and blowing their driveways and stuff like that. I was like, this is, is everybody up this early doing stuff? Because this is not peaceful and something like that, right? But I like to sit and just realize I'm just part of the universe. And then I ask myself, are you start, ready to start your day? So, And this is something I learned in therapy, you know? Um, sometimes I'm not ready to start my day. Sometimes I'm still like, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Um... Sometimes I am just feeling a little bit off. Sometimes I just really don't want to be that cyber connected for the day or even text messages or phone calls. Like I just want to continue to be absent from all that for a while, you know? And so I really ask myself, I sit with it for a while and then I start my day. And you know, my discipline is I make a list of all the videos that I want to make in a day. And I have a list of, you know, like the vlog, like record and vlog, publish, and then I go through my list. And then, uh, you know, for my drama video, I'll have like a little arrow cursor that goes to, um, and this is a, a written, I showed this in my vlog the other day, a written list. Um, I think I showed it in my drama video too. A written list, and I'll have like next to my drama video channel, like video that I want to make, Peterisms, I'll put, write meditations or some a topic that I'm gonna talk about. You know, review, like what I'm gonna review, on and on and on. And then at the bottom, I have other things that um, I want to do throughout the day, like doctor's appointments I have to schedule, cameos, things like that, right? Um, or something else, like if I have to go to the store and pick up something, I'll put it at the bottom of it. I used to do this list in my phone, and then I found I didn't really reference my phone very much throughout the day, and so I started writing it down. I am so much better at writing things down on post-it notes and lists and notebooks than I am at following it. 
So then I, as I go through my day and I like make a video, I like cross it off and then, you know, check mark it when it's all completely done. So I guess that's kind of discipline. There are also things I do around the house. Like every day it's important for me to make the bed, pull up the blanket, make it very cozy. It's not even, I feel like it's discipline. It's just nice for me. I like to keep my space clean. I like it nice for Alex, you know, take Boo Radley out about once an hour. Um, and, you know, make the bed, clean the bedroom up a little bit, straighten my clothes, do laundry. I do laundry, like, almost every single day. Um, you know, spray down the kitchen, put the dishes away, do dishes, do, you know, just put the dishwasher on, put the laundry on, things like that. Tidy up my space where I work. And then, once I get rid of all that, or get done with all that, that's kind of, like, my time to relax after videos and everything are done. And Alex and I will eat dinner or watch a couple of shows or whatever, you know? Then I'll watch my shows in the night if I don't take a nap or go to sleep early. And then, you know, or if I take a nap, get up and watch more shows. But then at the end of my day, I also close out my day by, you know, doing my prayers, my meditations, and a gratitude list again. So I guess to some degree, I really do have a lot of discipline in my life. I feel like I always have. Like, I can remember my mom. I said this in a lot of videos, but I can remember my mom, even when she was drinking, you know, she would get up, and I can remember she had, like, these steamrollers in her bathroom. Do you guys remember that where you put water in it? She put the steamrollers in her hair with the little clips in it, you know, like the wire clips underneath it. And um, pins or clips or whatever they're called. You know what I'm talking about? They're, like, little, they're like long U's, and they would go under, you know, and lock them into place. And then I'd say, well, what are you doing? She'd say, well, we're going to get ready for a day in case we want to go do something. I've always kind of had that attitude, you know? Like, if somebody calls, like, I'm ready to go, you know, whatever. I think... For me, it is important to have, I don't know that I necessarily love the word discipline, but I think structure. Discipline is almost kind of hardcore to me a little bit. I like the word structure. Um, and, and that, and structure can apply to other areas of your life, you know, and, and learning and growing and taking responsibility and accountability and consequences and doing the dishes and making the bed, you know, structure. Um, I've always been somebody that has thrived in structure, you know, like, I've always said, like, if you give me a list of 10 things to do, like, I do very well with that. I'm not somebody that does really well with ambiguous thinking. In fact, when I was doing an internship in graduate school, she, like, gave us, like, three things that we had to do over the course of a semester. And I can remember, like, I would come in to it, like, it was, you know, um, so it was in elementary school, and we were, like, school social workers. And I can remember coming in there, it was, like, a, a group unit, and there was, like, I don't know, five or ten of us each day in there. And I would come in there, and, like, everybody would be, like, doing this and writing down notes and doing stuff. And I would just kind of sit there, like, I don't know what to do. And we would meet with her, like, once a week. She ended up becoming a fantastic mentor of mine. And I can remember her being like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And she's like, well, you're supposed to develop a group. And I go, I know, but I don't really know where to start that from. And then she'd say, and I'd say, well, I don't know where to do this, want to do that. She goes, well, and I remember she finally said to me, you know, like, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Like, you, you have to be a free thinker. Like, this is one of the things I'm taught, teaching you. And it was very much like um, the Karate Kid, like wash on, wash off. She's like, I'm not, like, I'm teaching you things by not coming in here and directing you and disciplining you. Like, like, you have got to be a free thinker. You have got to put the structure into place. You have got to learn to do these things on your own. And it was such a great learning experience for me, you know? And now, basically, working for myself and working from home, it's the same, it's the same thing all over again. I don't have somebody, like, over my shoulder saying, go make a Peter Rhythms video, you know? Like, if I do it, I do it because I want to. I do it because I'm, you know, compelled to, or I have it written down on a list and I want to, you know? Or I, I feel like... I. But more for me, it's like, I don't know what to do if I don't do that. You know, like tomorrow, I'm already thinking about taking tomorrow off. I was thinking about taking today off. It's so hard for me just to take a day off, right? And so, like, I think the structure leads to that a little bit. She really helped me be a free thinker, to be, uh, you know, a, like, think on my own and come up with my own plans, which has been so important, not just, you know, in my work life when I was working for somebody in treatment or today, you know, making YouTube videos, but just in my personal life, you know, of, like, I have the right to make my own decisions and choices. I have the right to come up with my own ideas about things. I don't always have to be told what to think and what to do. Um, that can be scary, though. You know, I think we grow up in a world where we're by our parents or grandparents or teachers or whatever. We're, like, always told what to do. And so some of us do very, perform very well, do very well with that, right? I grew up with a lot. I mean, both of my parents and a lot of my teachers and stuff like that were just kind of, like, go at your own pace, you know, whatever. Um... Like, you know how when people, like, talk about their kids going to, like, Montessori schools where it's like, hey, you work at your own pace, go to your... I would have probably not done well in a school like that. Like, I needed a very structured school, you know? Um, 
I was the kid that would, my mom would say, get as many books as you want to get to the library, and I'd get as many as I could fill in my hands, you know, and read two of them. Um, I always just have been like this idealist, you know, like I'm too much food on my plate kind of person. The older I've gotten, I think I have been more structured with that, you know, and more structured in my life. Um, and I thrive with that structure. But I have to be the one that's coming up with my own structure. That's been very, very help helpful to me through time. So it's a good meditation. I just don't like, I don't necessarily love the word discipline. Um, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I like it. Discipline almost has like a punishing quality to it, the word. I know that's not what she means in this context, but I don't. I just don't love that word. I like the word structure more. You know, and I think it's been proven that, you know, like kids as they're growing up thrive in structure. They almost like, they, they seek it out. They seek structure, right? Um, and I think as an adult, I, I seek out for myself self-imposed structure. Like, I do very, very well with that. You know, there's things I have to do before I go to bed. Like, every dish has to be in the dishwasher. Coffee maker has to be turned out. The, you know, the counters in the kitchen have to be cleaned out. The candles have to be turned out. Everything has to be, has to be back to normal. So when I wake up tomorrow, I can start my day and like, you know, it's kind of like leave your toys in the tool, in the toy box where you, where you found them. Don't just leave them all over the floor, you know? I think we learn that stuff when we're kids and then we apply it when we're adults. So, it was a good reminder for me today. I mean, uh, I, I definitely will think throughout the day, like in what areas of my life am I also applying structure, you know, and discipline. It's good. It's good meditation. So, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. How structured are you? What are things that you have to do every single day, you know, and like you, the way you structure your life? Let me know in the comment section below. I know that's not exactly what she meant in the meditation, but that's how I applied it to my life. So, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, magically amazing weekend. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.